Well, back here at home, an L.A. judge today ruled that some of the justice reform policies rolled out by L.A. County D.A. George Gascon conflict with state law and that judge has ordered him stopped. The I-team has been following Gascon's efforts to reduce punishment for many offenders and rethink the way crime is prosecuted. Investigative reporter Eric Litter joins us live. And Eric, how significant is today's ruling? Well, Michael, this is a big deal. The judge found that some of Gascon's policies that were aimed at reducing prison time and punishment for some serious and violent crimes are, in some cases, unlawful. The judge made this ruling after the, ruling after the union that represents most prosecutors in the DA's office sued, alleging that all of these tend to fall into the bucket of the more serious felony cases, many of them involving violent crimes. And Gascon's idea, which is certainly something he campaigned on, was that prosecutors have traditionally been way too aggressive in seeking what he thought were absurdly long prison terms. He wanted to change that. So Gascon made a bunch of orders to his staff day one in office to stop increasing sentences for things like having a prior conviction or committing a hate crime, child and elder abuse, or if they were involved in a gang. Now he's already backed off some of those and he is allowing for greater punishment in some of those types of cases. But this ruling stops another significant justice reform that Gascon was trying to make in reducing prison terms. And, and this could be a setback for his agenda, clearly, though Gascon's office tells us he plans to appeal the ruling. And we should note, that appeal has the greatest potential to affect the entire state's justice system because if there's a decision from an appeals court on how far the DA can go to either implement or ignore parts of state law, that ruling could affect prosecutions in every California county, not just L.A. where Gascon was elected. All right, Back a lot to you. Of, a lot of